why no matter what you put on your dating profile you can put I want a slim slender in shape ripped abs tall black man why will people not fit in the criteria let's just go with the fat people why do they try and holler at you anyway it's like once they become middle age they refuse to put on their profile a few extra pounds a lot more of me to love no you know what they put athletic and that's only because the calves are skinny if I go on a male's profile and he says I want a big ass I don't try and convince him to love a little booty you're fat and I literally say on my profile if you do not meet my requirements I will never respond so why when you read it and you saw me and you see what I look like why do you think I'm going to be on your arm? You know, I understand. I'm not your type and all, but you know, I just wanted to let you know you was a real beautiful person. You sexy. You sexy as all get out. You know, you mind if I take you out to eat or on a date or something? Nah, you know, I'm good. I'm not even hungry. Most of the time, I'm not hungry. Most of the time, I'm full. I know you can't be looking at this. My body. Because after a certain age, you know, you shouldn't even be paying attention to that anymore. Sometimes you gotta look past all that superficial stuff. Wow, you can't be serious. There was a group of females, ten of them, that walked right past you. All kind of sizes, all kind of looks. You ain't, you ain't look past all those attributes before you came to me. You walked past all of them. And hunted me down. So if you ain't putting that stuff to the side when you make your choice, why you want me to put that shit to the side? That sounds retarded. No, I can still see. And as long as I can see, I ain't looking past the motherfucking thing. <laughs> oh, you saw that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did that. But you, you know what I'm saying? That's that's how much your shine shine through all them. I couldn't even see them. Your, your light blinded me. But you're like the complete opposite of my type. And look, right? Then they get in their feelings, they, that insecurity comes out. So what's wrong with me? I'm just asking, you know. Maybe I can work on something. Now, if you get ignorant, I will tell you the truth. It's like, well, what's wrong with me? Uh-oh. Have you seen me? Have you seen yourself? Did you take all the mirrors out of your house? Bruh, you're fat. I don't want to feel your titties against my titties. That would make it seem like I'm having a bisexual experience. Yeah, distinguished men like myself, we don't use the word fat, obese, or plump. That's not what we say. So... That's one of my little pet peeves. I don't like that. All this shit matters on my paperwork. I pass with fine colors. I ain't dying no time soon. What do you mean they don't call it fat? You're confusing me. What do you mean they don't call it that anymore? Since when? I mean, I've read the doctor's notes. I've seen the charts. It's, you know, normal. Fat obese. So I'm not understand what you're saying. So what do you call it if you don't call yourself fat? Hard to breathe? Out of breath? After a few steps? What about fluffy? <laughs> See, you got jokes. You a little comedian, huh? Nah, but seriously, though. Come on, sweetheart. Like, after a certain age, like age 48, there's only two categories you fall in. And that's healthy and unhealthy. And per my last checkup, I'm healthy. So was that checkup 30 years ago? They still call it fat. <laughs> See, you playing. You play too much. But I'm serious. Like, I had my checkup last month. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Beyond all that, beyond my size, what you think about me, though? Um, nothing. So, let's go back to the word fat. You know, because you seemed a little sensitive over that word, and you really ain't explain why, because all my brain is looking at is if it walks like a fat duck and it looks like a fat duck, it's a fat motherfucking duck. That's the appropriate, you know, medical term for it. So, you know, explain that shit to me. For real, because I don't, I don't know where you're getting this information from, why you sensitive over that word. You know, I ain't no book or nothing like that. You know, I know what I am. It's just something I say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody that, that calls themselves that. If they help it. Oh, so you made it out. So look, then they be like this. So what, what you trying to say, though? You trying to say I'm ugly? Is that what you trying to say? I mean, damn, I know I ain't the prettiest motherfucker out here, but I'm not ugly. Honestly, I've been told I'm quite handsome. So, was that by your relatives who told you that? Because they don't count. I want to know if somebody that looked like me tried to break their neck to get at you. Not your grandma telling you on Easter Sunday, look at my little handsome grandson. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> oh, you funny as hell. But I just want to suck on your bottom lip, though. Oh, hell no. Nah. So, then I'm like, I like slim dudes, you know, tall, like NBA type. That's what I've been told. Oh, come on, shorty. So are you saying if I was taller, I would have a shot? No, I wouldn't. But I'm trying to let you know, you know, everybody got a preference. You were attracted to me for some reason. But it should be mutual attraction, not slavery. I'm attracted to you. Bang. Hit me on the head. Come over here. You're mine. When this happen in America? Wow. Oh, sure. You sure. I hope you know I would never attack a young, beautiful lady like yourself. Or any lady. In that matter. But I feel you, though. You know? As long as you're not saying I'm ugly. I can lose weight. I'm just going through something, you know? And while I was going through it, I used food, you know, as my, my, my kryptonite. Okay, well, call me when you're done with all that. Slimming it up. Yo, you ever try stand-up or something? For real, man. Like, the jokes just keep coming. They don't stop, do they? That's what you do on your part. <laughs> I have allergies. That ain't got shit to do with my health. <laughs> it's a coincidence that you said they call it hard to breathe. Ain't hard to breathe. It's all this pollen out here. My test results are still positive. Oh, it's too late. The ambulance is already on their way. Because nobody here doesn't believe you didn't just have 15 mini strokes. Allergies my ass. I just saw you cough up one of your lives. So I don't know how many you got left. Mr. Healthy. Wow, really? So I guess, you know, before I leave, I want to know, do you want a healthy nigga on your arm or what? I pass. <laughs>